Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, if you're watching this, then you are someone who is suffering from food allergies. Food allergies. Oh my God, I dropped it. Okay, so you're someone who's suffering from food allergies. And you're looking for some tips, right? So let me first start by just giving you a little bit of information. Welcome to my crazy life. Okay, so I um, have a 13 month old son. And prior to having my son, I didn't have any food allergies like at all. And after having him, I think I did have something going on, but this all came about after having my, my child. So right now I'm on my way to uh, my allergist testing. They're going to do skin testing with live um, seafood that I got from the grocery store and also live fruit. So I know I have a tree nut allergy, which I was never diagnosed with that until after I had my child. And now we're going to see what's going on with seafood because I'm having some issues with tuna and um, some sauces that I've eaten I've had issues with that had fish in it um, and also I've had issues with shrimp now and I love some seafood so I need this to come back negative okay I also have had some issues with fruits since I was like a young girl so this is kind of just to verify that but anyway welcome to my world we're on our way I'll see you guys at the doctor's office okay guys Let's hurry. I'm running late. But look, I have all these bags. And inside the bags, it contains um, the fish and seafood and the fruits. And excuse me the way I'm talking because, you know, I have Invisalign. So, yeah, I haven't gotten the hang of that yet. Hey guys so I am back in the room now they have taken my samples um, of food to prepare them for the allergy testing so let me tell you everything that I got um, oh god this is gonna be hard for me just to remember um, but I got cod um, salmon tuna catfish, um, crab, lobster, uh, did I say clams? Clams, if I didn't say it. Uh, mango, peaches, uh, kiwi, watermelon, banana, um, Think that's it yeah so those are all the things that well the seafood is what they requested me to bring because I don't have an issue eating crab uh, or lobster those are two of my favorite things to eat and salmon I don't have an issue there just with tuna so far and some fish sauce I don't know that was in like a barbecue sauce once and that they used Worcester sauce in um chili and it's not them it's actually my mother-in-law was the best chili i had ever had i was so excited about it and then i got sick um uh, my tongue started to swell on the side and yeah it was not a cool experience but here we are trying to figure out what's going on with me to see if i can eat it or not again i never had any issues at all with seafood um until now and it kind of happened like right after i had my son. I can't tell you the amount of tuna sandwiches I've eaten in my life or the amount of uh, fresh catfish, fresh trout, fresh cod, um, 
my dad is a hunter fisherman. So growing up, I mean, weekly, I ate probably twice a week. I probably had fish in my diet as a kid growing up. Um, so yeah. One thing I didn't bother testing was tilapia. I don't eat tilapia, so I figured there was no real reason for me to test for that. Um, but anchovies uh, is actually in, or was in one of the barbecue sauces that I had, so I wondered um, if there was some sort of a test for that. But it's kind of hard to get anchovies, by the way, for you to even have it fresh, because it needs to be fresh for it to be um, something they can test with. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just waiting. She said, ooh, you're gonna leave here smelling really good today. I hadn't even thought about like how I was gonna smell or you know the fact that they're like putting it on my skin. Um, ooh, and I wore my Nye Mays Gourmet merch today. So I totally would not have worn this if I knew I was gonna be all stinky afterwards. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens when she comes back. See you guys soon. So here's what it looks like. It smells absolutely disgusting. All right, guys. I'm supposed to lay very still for the next 15 minutes. But I was just talking to my nurse, and she was saying that she has um, shellfish allergies to shrimp specifically. And she said uh, that she had to take an antihistamine before she came in here to prepare my samples because even the smell um, will cause her to have a reaction. Oh my God. And she also said that she had no, she also has um, nut allergies. So she's allergic to tree nuts and peanuts. And she said she did not have any nut allergies prior to her pregnancy with her son. After her pregnancy, then she developed uh, the tree nut, peanut allergy. She did have the um, shrimp allergy prior to her pregnancy but it just like feels good to know that I'm not crazy and I know you're probably watching this saying oh my god I'm not crazy either um my doctor actually told me at my last appointment where we talked about this a little bit in more detail she told me that um some women who have really bad food allergies she's known patients to have um a pregnancy and after the pregnancy they have no more issues with those food allergies wow I need to do this again I guess I don't know it'd be my luck that I would um, have another baby and then have more allergies I don't know it's gonna be interesting to see what this looks like after uh, to see those results I'm gonna see if she'll take a picture for us see you guys soon I gotta be the only person who gets allergies after pregnancy. Food allergies at that. Oh my goodness. Test is over, guys. I'm sure you can see I have some large reactions to some stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I had some really large reactions. Um, let's see if you can see them. So I'm allergic to shellfish and you name a fruit, I'm allergic to it. Fish as well, even salmon. It's a sad day for me, guys. I really wanted to be able to have crab legs or salmon or something. Nope, not the case. <laughs>